were always my passion. They provided a way out of life's hardships. You see, from a young age, I was always the kid that others teased because I was the short one, the skinny one, or because I was different. Throughout the years, I've identified a common pattern. Life brings us obstacles in the form of people, structures, or the establishment. Our main mission and purpose in life is to break through these barriers. Whenever I started something new, there was always someone who was telling me that I cannot do that, or someone who put obstacles in order to block my way to the top. These people are there for a reason. They push us to become the better version of ourselves. After many years of hardships and suffering, I've learned to enjoy the game. It's like a boxer inside the ring who is taking one hit after another, but he keeps smiling and saying to the opponent, that's the only thing you got. And that's how life actually is. Life is hitting you with a right and left hook. You sleep and you hit back. That's the main purpose and your mission in life, to overcome all these obstacles and hits. Some of you may remember my icebreaker in 2013 when I joined Toastmasters, but none of you knows what took place between 2013 up to today. Hello Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen, let me invite you inside the ring with me. In 2013, I was a dreamer who won the first prize at an entrepreneurship competition. My dream was to help young entrepreneurs, artists, and people in need to raise money through crowdfunding. After delivering many presentations, speeches, talking with investors, key people, universities, I realized that life had a different plan for me. Life was hitting me with right and left hooks, and I could then clearly see where the path was leading. In 2014, together with some friends, we formed a team and we won the third prize at an entrepreneurship competition. My second startup was materialized, and in 2015, after a few months of testing the market, we changed the product and we restructured the team, and uh, we developed a new startup, my third startup. At that point, everything was going well, and in 2016, together with a co-founder, we found a business idea and we pivoted to my first startup, which was an online ordering platform for food and drinks. Despite all the harsh difficulties and despite the harsh competition, the business was going well. We had 60 restaurants, more than 1,000 registered users, but after one year of working together, one day, my co-founder disappeared. He stopped answering my phone calls and my messages. And later I found out from others that he left for England where he found a job with his girlfriend. For a few weeks I was depressed, I have to admit. But then I realized that I have two choices, either to stay, stand up or stay down. At that point, and as only destiny could bring it, my father had a serious health issue, and he needed help. Up to that point, my father was an insurance agent, and he was an insurance agent in the conventional way. He was having his briefcase and his car as his office. And I have to admit that his lifestyle and his career were not appealing to me. But at that moment of despair, I had a vision. I told him, I'm going to get involved in insurance, but we're going to create an independent insurance agency, and we're going to work very differently from what you have learned all your life. You agree? You see, I had to convince my father and make him agree, because according to the local law, in order to, to register an independent insurance agency, you need two intermediaries as directors. Of course, my father couldn't understand my vision as expected because his life experiences led him to believe and to know that you can only sell insu life insurance through the agency system of one insurance company. 
He wanted to become, he wanted me to become like him, something I was not. His life experiences could not allow him to share the vision I had for my life. But I was determined to succeed. We had epic fights, but I kept going. I went through all the trainings and examinations and normal agent and course, and even beyond. I registered and studied under the Chartered Insurance Institute of England. And then I finally convinced my father to sign the papers and to let me do the administrative tasks. Uh, by using my startup experience, I created AJS Insurance with my father as my co-founder. And in essence, AJS Insurance is an independent insurance agency working not only with one insurance company, but with many insurance companies and offering a range of products. And it reflects my life experiences and my philosophy in life. Never allow anyone, not even your family members, to guide your life and business decisions. Pursue your dreams and follow your, your instincts, even if you're afraid to fail. And as the great Muhammad Ali said, I hated every minute of training, but I said to myself, keep going, keep suffering, and live the rest of your life as a champion. <laughs>